Uh, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Marble Manor. A uh, little bit late getting out the door this morning. You know, I had to have my two, three cups of coffee. Hopefully, you guys have had your coffee today. Or, if you guys are on the little younger side, hopefully you've had, what, a bowl of cereal? <laughs> okay, so while you guys were gone, we did a little bit of work. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys. Let's get in our gator. Okay, let's back up all the way over here, and we'll go check out our fields real quick. We need to also go check on our sheep today, too. Uh, looks like, ooh, looks like we have some wool, too. They're spitting out wool pretty fast. Okay. Our harvest, our soybean harvest, completely harvested. It is completely done. Look at that clear field right there. We got to figure out what we're going to put on there. Okay, then if we go down here, well, I don't got my lights on. I was wondering why I couldn't see. We have our wheat. That is a lot of wheat. And some of that wheat is going to be going to Mr. Dickerson. We're trying to get Bob back. I mean, we don't know who Bob is, but uh, if we can get him back, it would help us. Mainly because that would give us an extra hand on the farm, too. So I haven't heard anything from Mr. Dickerson, so who knows? Okay, we are going to check out the soybean price. Because we do have a whole bunch of soybeans. Oh, and those are new too. Uh, we hired some contractors and they built us some uh, some seed and fertilized tankers. So that's going to help. No more having to go all to the store. Every night those things get refilled. So that is good. Okay, let's... Oh, I forgot to turn the lights off again. Okay, let's check out the prices real quick. Uh, let's see, prices for, geez, 855 still. And we have 74,000 liters, so it's not like we don't have anything. Okay, let's go check our sheep real quick. Now we have one full pallet right here. We have another one filling up. Uh, let's go check their food and everything. Uh, the area is pretty clean, actually. Oh, no, no, it's not. So we have to go get our bucket. Okay, uh, let's, let's actually go in here and check them out real quick. Uh, yeah, cleanness needs to be... We need to get there clean. Uh, they're going to be given any animals soon. 221, 307. Oh, not anytime soon. Still got a while for that. Uh, of course, there goes the morning jet flying by. I think they're taking pictures or something. I tell you, I bet you they're working for Mr. Dickerson. Okay, so let's get into our new tractor. Okay, we need to change that color. That color just looks wrong. Okay, let's put down the clamp. Now let's go to the store. We're going to go the back way. This engine is actually pretty loud. Okay, I will see you guys when we hit the store. Okay, here we're back at the store. As you can see, we already just changed our colors for that. We just need to change our colors for the bucket now. So, let's bring it over here. I mean, these workers are fast. Watch this. Put it down. Customize one over. And look how fast they were. I mean, that is some fast work there. Okay, so this thing looks a lot better now without that blue. Okay, so now we're going to go back over and clean up our sheep pen. And hopefully we have either like wheat or something to do for right now. Uh, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, thinking about that big field, we might rent out a... Uh, you know what, actually, let's turn back around. Let's turn back around. We're, we're going to go to the store and we're going to look at something real quick. Okay. Okay, let's stop it real quick. Okay, let's uh, look through the catalog real quick. We're going to look up cedars. Okay, what we are planning on doing, I'm planning on uh, trying to put down some cotton. Uh, let's see. 
I don't think that's in the cedars. I think it's in the planters. Okay, we got cotton right there, but that thing's going to take us forever. And we're also going to need a cultivator, too. Uh, cedar planter, tempo. Uh, that one's not too bad right there. Um, here's the new planter. It's 5.4. Uh, that one needs 300 horsepower, but it will get a lot done at once. And 6,000. I think you're probably going to rent something like this. But first, we're going to have to rent a cultivator. Uh, let's see. Here we are with the cultivators. Definitely not going to be getting a 3 meter one. That would take us forever. And this one is 10.2. That ain't bad. This one is 6. This one requires how much horsepower? 400. So our uh, Fent would have to push this one. Yeah, let's 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 go ahead and lease this. Okay, so we're we're gonna try to get some cotton. Okay, hopefully this thing will hook up to the back. Um, I don't remember if it will. No, oh wait. Yeah, there we <laughs> that does not <laughs> Okay. I don't think it's supposed to be like this. Can we can we do it? Let's see. <laughs> okay. This this series ain't very uh realistic. Okay, guys. Hold on. Okay. This is an uh let's let's see from his point of <laughs> this is his point of view right here. Yeah that see? You can do this. <laughs> it saves us a tri uh, trip having to go all the way back there. Look at this. See, this is an amazing tractor right here. Fun thing is going to be disconnecting this to see what this thing is actually going to do. It's probably just going to drop. Okay, here's a corner. This is going to be fun. No, 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 no. Okay, we're just gonna drop that right there. Okay, there we go. At least we brought it all the way back. Okay, well, that was interesting. Okay, so we're gonna have to cultivate this. And then we're gonna seed it with cotton. And that should give us a pretty good amount of cotton. At least about five to six bales of cotton. Yeah, how, mu how much is cotton bales going for right now? Let's see. Uh, cotton bales, 1,277. That is really good. Okay, so let's go deal with the sheep real quick. Okay, open up the door. Okay, guys, you gotta move. Coming through. Gotta clean up the mess you guys made. Okay, yeah. Yep, get out of the way, buddy. Ooh. Oh, I didn't get all of it. I thought I got all of it. I guess not. Oh, I didn't even see you were back there. Eee. There we go. There's all of it. Okay, so sheep area is cleaned. Again, let's close up the door before they get out.
Hey, come on. You know what? We're just gonna put this thing back here. Just put it right here. There we go. Oh, I forgot to let's off again. There. Okay, so we're gonna need something powerful to use with that cultivator. Let's see what we have here. We have our John Deere. Not not powerful enough. Now the fence. I think blue this is like five hundred something horsepower, so this should work out pretty good. Uh, we're going to have to repair this thing soon. So tomorrow I'll probably be bringing this to the shop. Let's go over here, get our cultivator, start cultivating this. It's hoping our wheat would be done so we can start harvesting it. So all we need is like three to 4,000 liters and we're good. We have Mr. Dickerson paid off. Ah. Okay, this might actually take a while. There we go. Get this field all cultivated, get it seeded, get it fertilized, and we'll be good to go. Okay. So we have actually a lot of this field to do. We're going to have to get this done. Uh, I was hoping we could do the wheat today, but it does not look like it. Let's, uh, let's go look at it real quick. I'm just going to hop over the fence real quick. One, two, three, hurdle. Yeah, look at that. Okay, growing. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's about the first stage right now. Okay. So that is going to be the end of this episode. I know this is a little bit of a short episode right now, but uh, that's because we don't have much to do really right now. We have this to do, but that's about it. So when we get back, hopefully we'll be, we'll be paying Mr. Dickerson off. And hopefully we'd be getting Bob. So uh, you guys can all meet Bob. And uh, let's get this uh, let's get this all done. I really want to get this done and get some cotton in. Uh, so like always, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys pound that like button. And if you have not subbed, make sure you guys do. Like always, guys, have an awesome day. Peace. Yeah.